I think job security is a myth. And that is why I choose to build projects to keep my skills sharp. And here are five projects that I've built this year. The first one is define the cloud, pretty straightforward. You type in a word, you hit search, and it goes and it queries a database with uh, a bunch of definitions that actually have been submitted by potentially some of y'all who are watching. And I can click on a definition. It gives me the definition, the uh, the word actually, the definition itself, a learn more link, a link to the author who submitted it, and a couple of the words that are in that same tag. So I can go to Jenkins uh, and I'll load that up, right? And this project is actually two projects. The UI itself, which is what you can see, it's not the best looking UI, but it's minimal, it's clean, it gets the job done. And I used Copilot and ChatGPT to put it together. And then the code that actually interacts with the Cosmos DB database, you can find that the Learn to Cloud uh, organization GitHub and then the Cloud Dictionary repo. And it's these two files, actually, dictionary functions, which outlists all the HTTP functions that work uh, for the API. And for example, you have get definitions by search, get words. Um, I also have a function in there that's on a timer that will update the definition of the day, which if you go to learn to cloud guide and uh, it loads up this uh, this definition here, which is the same for 24 hours. And then it'll go uh, this timer trigger will go and update that to a different uh, definition. And then the other file is a repository, which is the code that actually interacts with the Cosmos DB database, uh, because it's good to not have your concerns, you know, tightly coupled. Uh, but yeah, I learned a lot here. I learned, first of all, how to do things like this, make sure you have a repository and a functions file, how to model data properly, um, the pros and cons of modeling data in different ways in Cosmos DB, using a NoSQL database, uh, building a UI. So yeah, that's the first first two projects really that I built this year. Later in the spring, Azure OpenAI, OpenAI, everyone wanted to get hands on, including me. So I went and I built something that solves an issue that I have that I use till this day. It's called Time Stamper. And this is a console application in .NET. You can see I recently updated it uh, just an hour ago. Um, and what it does is a console application. You provide a YouTube URL and an amount of timestamps that you want, and it will generate those timestamps for you. And if you see in my live streams, the, the timestamps are all generated by this tool. Now, there are already things I want to improve. At the moment, it uses the entire transcript and it just slices it up in the amount of timestamps that you want. But I would like it to be a little bit more smarter and understand like, oh, this was spoken for four minutes. This topic was covered for eight minutes, et cetera, et cetera. Right now, it's just kind of like an even number, depending oh, a number depending on the, the splits that you provide there. I also went and I built this in Python because in the summer I wanted to learn Python and a great way if just leverage your knowledge, ha having built another project and rebuild it to learn a new tool or a new language. And I also built an API version, which uh, is just, you know, a web app version of, of, uh, of this tool because the original one is a console application. This I got hands on with .NET console apps. I got hands on with Python, obviously, uh, for the Python version. And then I got hands on with Azure OpenAI. And then in the summer, I wanted to learn Python. I have a .NET skill set, and I can use it to build pretty much anything I want. And it's great for you know the companies that work with .NET. And now I also wanted to learn Python in case there are companies that use Python uh, that I want to work for or work with. And then I think I cover like the best of both worlds, knowing those two languages. And also I had a conference that I wanted to speak to speak at, or I did end up speaking at, uh, and it needed a Python project. So I went and I learned Python. Whenever people ask me, how much Python do I need to know for cloud? I tell them, learn to work with APIs and learn to deploy infrastructure with SDKs. And of course I took my own advice. You can see here, I have two files, actually one called infra, one called main.py. And the infra is just going through, uh, iterating over a file, editing the values in a file to create some embedding, some vector representations of semantic value of the uh, values in that JSON file, creating a Cosmos DB. Uh, you can see an account here, creating a container, a database container, uploading, creating some stuff in Azure Cognitive Search, creating a vector search, uh, setting the semantic settings, a bunch of things. So this is just a one run once to set up the infrastructure for my project. And then I have this console application that I can run and I can show you. And I'll say, give me a project for AZ204. Like I said, 
automating the issues that you have in your life. I get a lot of people who ask me, hey, I want a project idea. What should I do? And instead of me having to just answer them all the time, I wanted to build a web application that points them in the right direction. You can see that this was now returned as skills to practice, possible services to use, project idea, and a couple of other things. And this is the console application implementation of this. I also have a diagram that I can probably show you here about it. Yes. So you, you may ask, well, why do you have to create the Cosmos DB or why do you have to like iterate over files and things like that is when you have a model, generally it's trained off just a bunch of random information in general information. If you wanted to provide you better context and better answers in to be specific to some kind of theme or topic, like if you build a website all about dogs and you use a model and you feed it more data about dogs, it can give you a answer that's more specific to the topic of dogs, right? So the same thing I did, I prepared uh, certification data manually by just going to certification uh, websites and their study guides and pairing services and uh, certification names and creating embedding embeddings for them, which are uh, numeric representations of their semantic meaning. And then I stored all that in Cosmos DB. So then when I go and I ask, hey, give me a project idea, it can use that information to ground the completions and provide a more specific answer to me, right? So that's why I created this. Another thing I like to do when working with projects is, uh, as you can see, I have some console applications that I've built. And then later I've implemented API versions. I think that's a great way to get more out of your knowledge. You're already building an idea, you're already building a project, and you have kind of like the context of how that works in a console application. Now you want to learn how to build it in an API? Well, already leverage the knowledge that you've used. I leveraged a lot of the, the console application version to go and create the API version here. So I'm going to run this uh, API version now, and I'm going to show you what it does. It's very similar, but it returns JSON to us, which is great because when, again, building a, a, a web app, we're going to want to interact with JSON, right? So I'm going to pull up Thunder Client here, and you see I already have a prompt provided to the URL. I hit send here. And on the right side, it's going to generate some JSON based off the project idea that it has uh, created for me. You see project description, services, skills, uh, steps, and a couple of other things. So those are two additional projects there in one. And finally, I think another good thing that people can do is to just update your projects. So maybe you don't have the capacity to go and build something completely from scratch. Well, go and update some projects. So I did that with a couple of uh, projects that I had, but also the biggest one is probably the Azure Resume. I've updated it to work with the latest and greatest .NET A. I've incorporated dev containers so people can get hands-on with dev containers to set up their development environments. I updated the tests. I made the code more performant. Uh, I changed the CI CD to target Linux instead of Windows and a bunch of other things. So, and I know sometimes updating projects can be time consuming, uh, but sometimes not. So again, you know, you got to pick your battles there and whatever fits your time best. But yeah, those are a couple of projects that I built and you can check them all up on my GitHub and keep your skills sharp. Tech is not for people who want to just have like a passive role. You're constantly learning, you're constantly building stuff. Uh, and it keeps it fun and dynamic. Uh, and yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.